All right, one more time. I just want to burn through this book, that's all. I want to get to the pearl. <laughs> Section 24 of the DNC. Revelation. Give it to Joseph Smith, the prophet, and Oliver Cowdery at Harmony, Pennsylvania, July 1830. Though less than four months had elapsed since the church was organized, persecution had become intense. And the leaders had to seek safety in partial seclusion. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 101. I'm just going to keep reading, though. Right. The Lord combines encouragement with reproof. Gives individual commandments to Joseph and Oliver. Uh, respectively. All right, let's get started. One. <laughs> Sorry. Behold, thou wast called and chosen to write the Book of Mormon. Wait a minute. Chosen to write the Book of Mormon. And have ministry. And I have lifted thee out of thine afflictions, and have counseled thee that thou hast been delivered from all thine enemies, and thou hast been delivered from the powers of Satan, and from darkness. Same thing, isn't it? We're all afraid of the dark. Some more than others. Two! Nevertheless, thou art not excusable in thy transgressions. Nevertheless, go thy way and sin no more. Three! Magnify thine office, and after thou hast sowed thy fields, and secured them, go speedily unto the church, which is in uh, Colesville, Fayette, and Manchester, and they shall support thee, and I will bless them, both spiritually and temporally, eventually. Four. But... If they receive thee not, I will send upon them a cursing instead of a blessing. So look out. Five. And thou shalt continue in calling upon God in my name and writing the things which shall be given thee by the Comforter. And expounding all scriptures unto the church. Six. We're going to get through this guy. We're going to tear through this book here. All right. Six. And it shall be given thee in the very moment which thou shalt speak and write. And they shall hear it, and I will send unto them a cursing instead of a blessing. Like you said in verse 4. 7. For thou shalt devote all thy servant service to, in Zion, and in this thou shalt have strength. 8. Be patient in afflictions. For thou shalt have many. 
but endure them for lo, I am with thee, really, even unto the end of thy days. He just might not do anything to help you, that's all. It wasn't his will, sorry, you're fucked. <laughs> Nine, and in temporal labors thou shalt not have strength, for this is not thy calling. Sorry, you're not allowed to work hard. It's not your calling. Attend to thy calling, and thou shalt have wherewith to magnify thine office. And to expound all scriptures and continue in laying on of the hands and confirming the churches. We're getting a franchise going here. Ten! And thy brother, Oliver, I thought you were cousins. Now he's your brother spiritually. Can he still marry your sister? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> that was wrong. Hillbilly humor ain't cool anymore. <sighs> Nothing's cool anymore. <laughs> Thy brother Oliver shall continue in bearing my name before the world and also to the church. At least that. And he shall not suppose that he can say enough in my cause. And lo, I am with him to the end. Eleven. In me he shall have glory. And not of himself. Whether in weakness or in strength. Whether in bonds or free, so you're not anti-slavery either. Jesus isn't anti-slavery, and he, the Mormon Jesus isn't either. It's like, ah, slavery, be a good slave. That's all I gotta say. Isn't that funny? It's not anti-slavery at all. I can't wait to see what else is up ahead here. Ah, okay. Yeah, bonds and free. Slave and not slave. Twelve! And at all times and in all places, he shall open his mouth and declare my gospel. As with the voice of a trump, both day and night. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> and I will give unto him strength, such as not known among men. But shut the fuck up with a trump. <laughs> Don't be a tramp with your trump. All right. Thirteen, require not miracles, except I shall command you, except casting out devils, healing the sick, and against poisonous serpents, and against deadly poisons. Yeah, right. Fourteen, and these things ye shall not do except be, be required of you by them who desire it that the scriptures might be fulfilled. For ye shall do according to that which was written. Which is written, excuse me. Which is written. <sighs> I think I'm a little tipsy. All right. Fifteen. And in whatever place ye shall enter, they, and they receive ye not in my name, 
he shall leave a cursing instead of a blessing. By casting off the dust of your feet against them as a testimony and cleansing your feet by the wayside. Why aren't we arrogant? 16. And it shall come to pass. God damn it. They slipped one into the DNC. God damn it. I did not see that one come. <laughs> Fuck, I might have to read another chapter because of that. I don't know. Depends on if it's like chapter... Section 20, excuse me. Oh, fuck. Urgh. What's 25 look like? Ooh, doable. We might just blast through 25 after this one. I just poured another beer. It came to pass in the DNC. God damn it! Should have been scanning ahead. Where the fuck was I? Oh shit. Everything's a little bit uh, swimmy. Oh, 16. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall lay their hands upon you by violence, ye shall command to be smitten in my name. Kick their ass in his name. And behold, I will smite them according to your words in mine own due time. So you might get your ass kicked while waiting. But he'll get them someday. Okay. That's so comforting. <sighs> His own due time. Ugh. Seventeen! And whosoever shall go to law with thee shall be cursed by the law. 18. And thou shalt take no purse nor scrip either staves neither two coats just maybe one. You can't have two. That's all. Uh, for the church shall give unto thee in the very hour what thou needest for food and for remnant and for shoes and for money and for scrip. Nineteen. For thou art called to prune my vineyard with a mighty pruning. Yay. <laughs> Even for the last time. Yay. And also all those whom thou hast ordained. And they shall do even according to this pattern. Amen. And good night. Actually, I'm going to do one more. Because I poured into the beer. Uh, God damn, I'm kind of a little bit tipsy. So, you probably don't want to watch the next one. It's going to be silly. So, either stay tuned or peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I really care. I do. Bye.